story, uh, which is a fascinating one, really. I mean, what's happened uh, in the Channel Islands with uh, Jersey uh, almost declaring unilaterally uh, that basically the French uh, Normandy fishing crews can't have access uh, to their waters. Uh, this resulted in, um, well, basically a, a fishing flotilla from Normandy blockading or trying to blockade St. Helia and uh, gunboats, that's an exaggeration to say warships, but certainly naval vessels from the UK and from France uh, sent to the area. Um, Kate, tell us more. Well, we're used to seeing French people protesting in the streets here in Paris, Mark. Today it was French fishermen out in their boats, and they went to sail to the island of Jersey uh, to protest what they say is their lack of access to those waters since Brexit became official. Now, the industry has been saying for months that it's been prevented from, get, from fishing in waters that it traditionally has, both British waters and the, uh, the territorial waters of the island of Jersey. Now, in Jersey in particular, the industry says it's submitted 344 requests for fishing licenses there. Last Friday, 41 of them were granted, uh, but they came with what fishermen say were unexpected and unannounced additional conditions, uh, like needing to have electronic monitoring devices on their boats. Uh, the European Commission says failure to alert them to those new conditions constitutes a breach of the terms of the Brexit deal. Now, remember, Jersey is a British dependency, uh, but it is not part of the United Kingdom, or for that matter, of the U European Union. It's located just over 20 kilometers off the northern coast of France, and its waters are, in fact, covered by the Brexit deal. That was a very specific element of that trade deal. That agreement, of course, uh, outlines a medium-term plan for European fishing boats to scale back their dependence on British waters, but it does allow them to keep coming back uh, to apply for permits to operate there. On both sides of the channel, we've heard complaints uh, about too much opaque bureaucracy, both in getting fishing permits and the licenses to export. Uh, about 70% of British seafood is actually sold to the European Union. The terms of this Brexit deal do allow for the creation of an arbitration panel uh, and down the road possible trade sanctions if uh, either side is found not to be respecting these rules. Talks on this particular fishing dispute are now underway between the European Union and the United Kingdom, both sides hoping to reach a compromise quickly to avoid having to resort to any of that. Indeed, indeed. I'm kind of wondering where Jersey stands on that because it's acting independently. As you say, it's a dependency of the UK, but it has its own almost autonomy in terms of how it acts. It's Take this decision unilaterally, and one Normandy fishing crew I heard speaking earlier, the, the captain of the boat, saying that he's fished these waters all his life. He's now got 11 days for this year, which is kind of described as it's more like just getting a tip rather than actually getting the right to work, which uh, clearly is a difficult situation for him, and you can see hardship ahead. Uh, Kate, for now, thank you very much indeed. Kate Moody with the, well, the business angle there on two of our main stories of the day. Kate, as ever, great to see you.